Hey guys, no Waker here, and today I'm doing sort of an old school mod on an old school game. Today we're going to be modding Borderlands, the first Borderlands, that's right. A uh, new mod came out recently, like mod tool. It's not like an inventory editor, but you'll see what it is. So I've got it on my USB, once, you, once you've got your save profile on your USB, just come over to the computer, which is where I'm at now. Let's load up Horizon, download link. As always, will be in the description down below, so check that out. Let's wait for Horizon to load. Nah, we don't need it online, we can just use it offline. And then over on the right, you got your flash drive, games, borderlands, and your save. Extract the save onto your desktop, just like that. Um, and you want to hit open and find your save which is here save uh, 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 one open and there we go see my character is brick that's the money I have in level one because you know I haven't just started so let's change the cash to the max XP We'll lock it. Um, okay, yeah, sure, we'll do. Let's give ourselves lots of XP. Level, the highest level, skill points. I just want. Yeah, I'll we'll just do that. Now, for the colours, this is the thing that I really like. You only have a certain set of colours. And they're quite boring on the game, but as you can see, you've got the red, green, blue color values here, and you can actually make any color, which will then show up in the game, so you don't have to have the boring colors on there. Now, these are the colors that are actually on there. That's the red, that's the pink, and that's the green. Not very nice, are they? So let's just go ahead and make them the best there is. So I want to change the red one to 255, and the others to 0, so that's the brightest red there is. And then... I think red 255 and blue 255 and then this zero will make a nice pink and for green we want 255 on there and zero on these then they get that nice bright colors which you cannot get in game then for the weapons it says here minus one means you haven't used it and you haven't bought upgrades so obviously because I've only just like started the game I haven't used any except this shotgun here because I actually started with the shotgun but I haven't used it so what we're gonna want to do is well we can only mod the ones that we've used so obviously the shotgun is the only one I can do so I'm just gonna make that the max because that's all I can do and I guess we're just gonna have to save it there so let's save Right, so we don't need this anymore we can now go back onto horizon and get the save drag it on there save to device flash drive yes yes we want to overwrite it okay save and you know just save it again just to be sure yep 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 okay now let's go back to the xbox to see the changes Alright guys, we are now on the Xbox with the USB plugged in, so let's go on to the memory unit, games and apps, Borderlands, and that's to say that we just modded, so we're going to move that onto the hard drive. going to replace the item that we modded, like the save, and now we'll just go ahead and load up Borderlands. Okay, so Borderlands is now loaded up going to go hit start, select the hard drive that your save character is saved on, and single player, and there we go, as you can see they're level 16777215, I don't even know what number that is, like off the top of my head, but that just shows you that it has successfully been modded, now let's go check it out. Alright 
as you can see here, achievements are popping up as a notification on the mod tool said. Like, it will actually give you achievements from levelling up. So, there you have it, 50G, 40G and whatever else there was. <laughs> it's not bad, is it? Let's be honest. Great! I detected your Echo device is fully functioning. Alright, now way that we can move and we're in the game. Let's check it out. <laughs> there you go. Look at that. Bright red, bright pink, and it's actually got green, like bright green trousers, but you can't really see it much because the thingy in the way. There you can see a bit more of the bright green. But yeah, there you have it. If you don't want the boring colours, you can have these beast colours. Nice, bright, beautiful. So yep. That's basically the best thing about this mod tool in my opinion, like money, everything else you can do on any other mod tool but the colours you can. Now when you're going to join a multiplayer game, you will stand out so much and you will be praised like a god. <coughs> yeah, there's max money there as well, skill points, not max skill points. Well, yeah, we have like 250 summer. As you can see, that's 231, but it does go down like as the numbers are off the screen. There we go. It should stay on the screen now that it's a one, and it's not taking up much. But then we can just max out our skill points and stuff. Beautiful. So yeah, and there you have it. If you have become a Borderlands One beast like myself using these mods, make sure to smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you on my next video. Peace.